Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how you can turn any character into a ghostly figure. Now one question I get asked quite a lot uh, when it comes to creating, for example, enemies. How can you make a particular character model sort of see-through and ghostly? Now there are loads of different ways you can do it and you can buy pre-built assets to do it. The easiest way though is to simply just play around with a shader. So. I have this model here, which is just a bog standard zombie. It's, it's nothing too spectacular. I have a little scene with a cube and a first person controller. So if I click on my zombie on the mesh, you have to make sure you are on the mesh here. Go to the shader itself and you'll see, hopefully if you've got a standard one, for example, you can set the rendering mode to perhaps transparent. You won't notice too much of a difference. But then if we click the albedo color and change it to white and then change the alpha, which is this very bottom one slider all the way to the end, you can see that it's now gone kind of see through. So I'm going to do that to the uh, ribs as well. So I'll change the rendering to transparent, albedo to white and alpha all the way down. And if we press play, we should be able to see that our character here, our zombie is now rather ghostly. So we can see straight through him, but we know he's there. There's also different ways you can play around with the um, shaders themselves. You know, there's different options that you've got. For example, if we change the shader on our zombie to perhaps particles and then alpha blended, you can see that that happens. And I don't think you're going to have too much to play around with here, but you can change the alpha just ever so slightly. And now if you look, it's got kind of a different look about it, being ghostly. So we could also increase it slightly there, so it kind of gives it a bit more of a glow. It gives it more of that colour about it, but you can tell it's kind of, well, so you can see through it, it's translucent. As I say, there's loads of different ways that you can create um, a ghostly looking figure, but I've always found the best way is to play around with the shaders themselves. For example, let's go on fade, and you can see that it's kind of almost gone. And if we go back onto our um, shader here, we can change the alpha to about there. And once again, we can see it just barely, and we know it's there. So it's all about playing with the shader and finding the right shader, which is for you. Uh, let's try perhaps legacy shader. And let's try something that's not likely to work. So let's try Bumped Diffuse. You can see it's it's not really going to work so well for us on this one. Some shaders are good, some shaders are not. It's all about finding the right one for you and using the right settings. And it's mainly about using this alpha. That alpha is the one that creates the, um, the how can I put it, the see-throughiness? Is that a word? I don't think see-throughiness is a word. But... That's the way we can do it. So I'm going to stick it back to standard. I'm going to stick it back to transparent. And there we go. So now we have a ghostly looking figure. You can also add a bit of lighting to it, maybe a particle system, and all this will add to kind of effects on it. But that guy's something for you to play around with. So that's how you create a ghostly figure within your game. Guys, thank you very much for watching.